The naked mole rat is a buck-naked rodent related to neither rats nor moles. The naked mole rat reigns in the Horn of Africa and is most closely related to porcupines and guinea pigs, both of whom will deny this if you ask. The naked mole rat lives in a complex of completely dark tunnels where the oxygen content is so low that would kill most animals within minutes. The tunnels are only wide enough that one naked mole rat can squeeze through at a time as they don't seem to consider personal comfort a virtue. It also helps that they literally cannot feel pain in their skin. Technically, naked mole rats can see just fine, but they prefer to sprint around in the dark with their eyes shut because vision is for lesser creatures. Fun fact, they can sprint backwards as quickly as they can move forwards. Wow! Naked mole rats are herbivores feasting on tubers and the occasional researcher they find while digging. They don't eat very often because their energy requirements are stupidly low. This is because the naked mole rat stands alone above the rest of mammal kind as having a singularly special adaptation. Drum roll, please. They're cold-blooded. That's right, the naked mole rat may have more in common with reptiles than other mammals. They don't keep a stable body temperature, a trick that lets them have a far slower metabolism than they should. It gives the naked mole rat the longest lifespan of any rodent, which is... Huh. 30 fucking years. The naked mole rat is one of only two known species of mammal to be eusocial. Eusociality is when a species has a caste system, with each caste performing different duties. Plenty of animals on Earth do this, and you're probably more familiar with them than you think. The weird part is that most of these animals are insects. Like bees, most naked mole rats are sterile females. Also like bees, naked mole rats come in three main caste flavors. Workers, soldiers, and the queen. Like bees, every member of the hive works together to ensure their continued success. Worker naked mole rats are the most common caste by far, like bees. Workers dig tunnels, care for the young, and find food. The next most common is the soldier caste, again, like bees. Soldiers protect the hive from outside threats, like snakes or invading naked mole rats from other hives. When a threat gets into the tunnels, worker naked mole rats raise the alarm by screeching in terror and fleeing in the opposite direction. This summons the soldier naked mole rats, who immediately leap into action. Finally, there is the queen. She's the largest naked mole rat in the hive and rules with a tiny, wrinkled iron fist. Like bees, the queen is the only fertile female in the hive. She spends most of her time having a completely ridiculous number of babies, like up to 900 babies in her life. However, unlike bees, the queen is not elected via birthright. See, any female in the hive has a shot at being in charge someday. All she has to do is commit a little regicide first. After a new queen has ascended, she grows to enormous, for rodent, size, and takes up to three mates. Soon, she will start producing stupid huge numbers of babies, and the hive will thrive again. While your feelings on the naked mole rat may be understandably mixed, we really have to hand it to them. They are the reigning monarchs of weird, a bizarre and wonderful mix of mammal, reptile, and insect traits. They are true survivors, still thriving in the face of global change. If their tenacity and sheer survivability is any predictor, they will be around a long time yet. Long may they reign.